Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and welcome to this Unity 5 lesson where we are going to be learning how to make an inventory system for your games. First of all, I downloaded some textures from Google that we're going to use in this project. So you just need a frame, a background, and some items you would like to display for your inventory. I'm going to create a UI going game object, UI, and creating a panel. This is going to create the canvas for us. And I'm going to change this name to background. And I'm just going to select the image for this. So I'm just going to drag this city market here. But before that, we need to convert this to Sprite 2D and UI. Apply those changes. So now we can change the background image to the city market. I'm going to change the alpha for this. And I want to set up my camera because we're going to need this later. This camera, oh, this is very big. This camera is going to be uh, in the canvas. And we're going to set the position to 0, 0. And the perspective view, we're going to change it to auto graphic. And finally, we're going to change the size to fit the picture of our background. So if we go back to game mode, we see this. Next, I'm going to create a UI image in the background, and I'm going to call it inventory. I'm just going to change the color and change the alpha of this. Just, this one. just so you have a transparent thing. And I'm going to change the width to 300 times 400, something like that. And we're going to create again another UI image. This time it's going to be called slot. So we have slot. And for this, we're going to use the frame we downloaded. And again, I'm going to create another UI image. I'm going to call this, if I can change the name, I'm going to call this item. So inventory will have many slots, and each slot will contain, contain one item. I'm, I want to resize the slot to 50, not 550, 50 times 50. And the item, I'm going to resize it to 30 times 30. So it's something like this. And the source image for the item, we can choose any of the items we downloaded. And finally, we're going to change the anchors of the slot to 0 and 1, 0 and 1. So that will let us reassign the... the the position of the slot easily. So now that we have this slot which contains an item, we're going to start creating some scripts. We are going to make a script called inventory controller and attach it to the inventory. We're going to create a slot controller, I'm just going to call it slot controller. And in the item, we're going to create a item. I'm just going to call this item. And before we begin with the scripting, there is something else I forgot. We need to add a box collider to the slot and to the item. So box collider. And remember to change the size to whatever the width and height of this is. And for the item, we need to set the set value to 10. Just follow me on this later, I will explain you why. This one is just going to be 50 times 50 times 1 is okay. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you have any questions or comments, just let us know in the section below. And in the next lesson, we're going to learn how to make the scripts for controlling the inventory. Thank you very much and see you on the next lesson. Goodbye.